Hello everyone, welcome. Thank you so much for watching. Today we're going to talk about why I don't buy sealed vintage booster packs. I want you to take a moment and think about the first time you ever opened a pack of Pokemon cards. I don't know if you remember it well, but I personally do. I remember opening a jungle pack and I pulled a hollow Snorlax and I was so excited. I looked at that card over and over again. I was amazed by it. I wanted more. My second pack was a fossil pack and it had a hollow Moltres in it. And that was a Japanese pack. And I was very excited about that as well. So I'm going to show you a few things here. I want you to try and tell me what these are. Think about it for a minute. If you would have said a base set two pack, you're going to be wrong. I'm going to show you what's inside these packs. And it might surprise you. Tell me that doesn't look atrocious. Well, here's what they actually look like. <laughs> Big difference, huh, between the font. Now that Machamp's the best looking card. Dratini, Onyx, Aberrant, and so the font is terrible. The texture and feel to them is awful. And, you know, if they put as much effort in the packaging as they did the actual cards, cards probably wouldn't look that bad. However, the reality is people are gonna buy these packs and think that there's real, real cards inside of them. It's very easy to mistake this for a real pack because it's been about 20 years since we opened these. It's hard to remember what they actually look like. When you hold these in your hand, you could very easily think they're real packs. This is what you can wind up getting at a flea market or off of eBay or Amazon from a seller that might not be very reputable. So you want those vintage cards, right? You want to open an old pack, you want to have fun with them. I don't recommend you do it. What I do recommend you do is buy the cards you want loose. Because when you open those vintage packs, you could wind up spending hundreds of dollars. Let's say they are authentic. You spend hundreds of dollars and you're not getting the cards you want anyways. So you could easily buy, you know, sealed promos like this, like this Machamp. The legendary bird promos. I even have an e-reader Kecleon promo for a nice unusual card there. Game Boy Meowth promos. Get those sealed. If you want sealed Pokemon cards, you can get them that way. You know what cards you're getting. But more so, I recommend you buy them loose. You can buy them loose in good shape for less than the pack of, a, of you know, vintage Pokemon cards. You're not gonna pull that Venusaur if you buy a base set pack. You're not gonna get the Charizard. You're not gonna get Lieutenant Surge's Magneton, you're not going to get a Dark Charizard, hollow or not. You're not going to get an Alakazam if you're looking for it. You could wind up pulling a rare Lass out of a base set pack. I mean, there's so many things you could get instead of the card you want that would just really hurt, especially if you're on a budget. If you're going to buy it to hold on to it and invest to it, you should at least get it authenticated before you put it away in your safe or whatever you want to do with it. But I really recommend you don't buy vintage packs because, especially if you're a beginner, because it's just so hard, easy to be fooled and so hard to get the right thing. If you are going to buy a sealed vintage pack, I recommend you get one that's already graded and certified by PSA. There's plenty of those out there. They don't go for a whole lot more than what regular sealed packs go for, and you can bid on them on eBay. Um, you know, I just saw some Neo uh, hollow packs go for, you know, $450 that were certified by PSA. Buy those because you know they're real packs. You know there's a foil card in there. You can't pull the wool over anybody's eyes there. If you really want sealed Pokemon cards, let's say you just want them in PSA 10, buy vintage sealed uh, pre-constructed decks. One way to do it, if you just want new Pokemon cards, you can buy these. One way to do it. <laughs> um, so think about what I said before you go out and buy vintage sealed packs. There's just a whole lot that can go wrong there, especially if you're on a budget. You do not want to throw your money away. If you have any questions, let me know. And please do share in the comments with everybody what your first Pokemon pack memory was. I would love to hear it. I'm sure everybody else reading the comments would love to hear it as well. Um, but yeah, thank you guys so much for watching and say bye for now and take care.